How's it going YouTube? This is Peyton Fisher and we are going to be reviewing a solar burner today here at Cantina West. We are going to go ahead in here and pop these open. We have our box of wheels and nuts, we have our stem here with our grill rack. We have our panels here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, all of those are here. We have our stand, our adjusting rod, pot rack, and our swivel for the bottom of our stand. This piece right here is going to screw in to the bottom of this. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside. I'm gonna set that in there. Now these panels, sometimes they have these little bubbles in them. You can go ahead and just push your thumb out on those and it helps take out the creases. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna set these upside down like this. On these, when we put these together, we're gonna leave the third bolt undone. These are the ones that we're going to be using. This is a lot easier to put together with two people, but for the sake of this review, I'm going to go ahead and put these together by myself. Make sure you skip that third one where you're going to be coming back. Okay, it comes with the tool that you can tighten these with. I recommend getting a power tool and putting both together and tighten them down. It's a lot easier, a lot faster. Okay, one down. And that's our second panel. Okay. Now that we've got this together, set these two right like this. And go ahead and turn this. And there's a little lip right here along this that helps them stay on top of each other so they don't fold in. Our next step is to attach this to here. I'm gonna grab our brackets. Okay, so what we've done here is I have the shorter bolt still with this clamp right here. And what we've done is we've started placing them here on the third spot. And this is going to brace the parabolic dish to its mount. Doesn't have to go in any particular order. Just make sure that we're getting on all of our clamps here. Now our next step is to get these longer bolts here with the same size of nut. And we're gonna go ahead and put them in all of these right here. Okay, our next step is to, let's go ahead and put our caster wheels on. Go ahead and just slide these guys right on here. Okay, so when I was placing the third wheel in here, what's happened is, there's a little tiny drop of wax or paint that got dropped down in here, so it's not quite screwing in. So what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning this out just a little bit. I can see the threads have, looks like paint on it. Sometimes you just have to work it just a little bit. Okay, so our next step, what we're gonna do here is now that we've got our wheels locked, we're gonna go ahead and take this. And we're gonna put this part right here. Make sure and go through the hole here. And we're going to adjust this to go in this side and then slide it back through. And there's two pinholes right here that our uh, clips are gonna go on. We're gonna put those on in just a second. So we're gonna go ahead and lift up the solar cooker here. We're gonna place it right here on top of the, the hole. Now that our cooker is stable, we're gonna go ahead and put on our bracket here. And this bracket is going to mount like this to this right here. And with this adjustment here, is gonna allow the dish to move up and down. Our first tensioner rod goes right here. It helps the, the stop of the dish going back and forth. Now on this, we're starting to use the bigger bolts right here. And sometimes you have to adjust this just a little bit to get it to where it'll fit just right. This is gonna give us our tracking up and down movement. Now, we can start feeling our back and forth tracking. So, we have two bolts left right here. These are gonna go on our stand right here. This slides down nice and tight right in here. One bolt there, one bolt right under there. Now, this sometimes can be difficult to get in here because of this uh, paint that they put on. So you have to pound this in sometimes. And you wanna make sure that you're going angles down so you get your pots can sit in there and we have our pot receptacle that goes on top to help for smaller pots to go in the middle now the fun part is we're going to take this over into the sun and we're going to see how hot this gets we are here we've got it adjusted to where the focal point is right in the middle now this is child safety proof because on the bottom here you don't have it hot and up here it's not very hot so but you're going to see really quickly uh, this right here is extremely hot here in the middle. It's already on fire, less than two seconds. You can cook, bake, fry, anything you want on this parabolic dish. Now that we have this off, go ahead and come over here with our Cantina West cover. Now if you live in an area that's not very windy, it's okay to leave these up. But if you live in an area 
that's extremely windy and you don't want this thing to get knocked over, go ahead and just set it, tip it right over on its backside, and let it fall just like that. And when you're ready to use it again, you grab it here, set it right back up, turn it to the sun, and you're ready to solar cook. This is Peyton Fisher with Cantina West Reviews, where we put your cooker to the test.